flexibility and um, it's the beginner's version so it's really simple and easy and I will do another one for the more advanced people. These exercises um, everyone can do even those who are maybe a little more flexible they can just push harder and go further than people who um, aren't as flexible or have no time to stretch all the time. I would recommend that you um, warm your muscles up. Stretch only when your muscles are warmed up some because you could hurt yourself. Just go and jog around the block if you want to. I already had some dancey time today so I'm a little warmed up. Or you can just go click some video on the side um, from me maybe. Like, I don't know, some workout video to get your heart rate up and then come back. So first do that. Let's hit the mat. Okay, we will start by doing the pipe. Just stretch your legs in front of you. Stretch up to the ceiling and then just bend down. So um, you don't curl your back like that. You just want your head to touch your knee. Just fold down and then stretch up, come down, stretch up, This will improve the more you do it, obviously. Um, so if you're like here, uh, don't worry. Just you can just hold it there. If you've done that enough, you can take your hands, um, fold them together like that, stretch up, then go over your uh, feet. Now just hold, and stretch in that direction with your whole um, upper body. And release. So we will do the butterfly now. That's for your um, inner thigh muscles. We were like this, right? And then just hold your legs towards you, kind of. Try to push your legs with your muscles and inner thigh muscles downward. So don't just try to do this, try to use your um, inner thigh muscles to push your legs towards the mat. Yeah. If you have a good turnout, um, this will be easy to, for you. And um, for the advanced people, um, you can like stretch in front. Can feel it um, here at your butt too. Then. Yeah. We'll stretch our hands and shoulders now because we'll do a back bend. So you can just stretch out your arm, and, like stretch your hand downwards, and then. Stretch it up. Yeah. You can also do that against the mat. Like that. Yeah. Stretch your arm up and take your arm and pull it to the air. Do that on the other side too. And what I like to do is um, bring my hands back, put them together, and then just stretch. Okay. 
So now we'll go with the back bend. This is also a good exercise for strengthening your arm muscles. And you can come closer together if you want to. Or stretch out your legs. Or you just stretch up, up one leg. It stretches your legs too, so you got your back, your arm strength, and Another back exercise is the camel pose. Sit up like this and you stretch back, touching your toes. Yep. You can start like here. That's easier. And then you can come closer and go down more. Or you could go up and down with your Head to your feet. It's actually also a good thigh exercise. If you go up, just go down and up. That's good for your thighs. Another back exercise, um, we are laying on our stomach. Reach your hands back, touch your toes, and then now just stretch up. Like stretch your arms and your legs at the same time so it goes up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it looks weird. <laughs> or you could have your arms lower so you can stretch up a little higher maybe. So now we'll stretch your hamstrings. My hamstrings are actually very um, tight sometimes. Just stretching out one leg in front of you, other to your side. And um, again, like in the pike thing we did, just fold down to your leg. And like try to pull your body towards your foot. And you just learn to love the stretch and to relax. Because actually, stretching can be very relaxing too. <clears throat> you don't have to be tense all the time. And you can flex your foot, which stretches your calf muscles too. side. Sorry about my hair. <laughs> Down. Do that. 
twist your leg outward to give you the stretch there. We're going lower. So do that on the other side. And now we will do back lunges. So step back, and first you'll just have your heel pressed into the floor. So you feel the stretch in your calf here. Now you lift your heel, and you go lower. And you also can go down with your upper body right next to your knee. Like here's my knee. And yeah, that stretches your legs too. But don't rush yourself if these exercises are hard for you, don't um, overdo them. Just go into the stretch. It shouldn't hurt, you should feel the stretch, but if it starts hurting badly, then don't stretch yourself in that way, maybe. You have to start slow, so don't overdo it. Now lift your heel, go down. You can go down with your body just if you, if you can do this. Stretching is a lot of practicing too. And um, your body has to get used to stretching. If you don't ever do it, then you can't expect your body to be able to. And come up. Yeah, that's it for the beginner's version of stretching and flexibility. I hope you enjoyed it. These exercises were very simple, probably everyone knows them already, but just try to do them properly and correctly so um, your muscles get used to stretching and yeah, and if you do it every day your body will adjust to that and will be able to do splits and everything if you continue doing it. So good luck. Bye.